What's up guys and girls, this is Devil Heroes. Today we are going to be going over a very quick video on one cost units, um, their effectiveness in the early game, and why you're going to be picking up certain units over others. Before we get into the specifics on any of these units, let me just go over the conditions you need to follow before you follow this tier list to the letter. If you have multiple copies of a unit, you're more than likely you should pick them up. If you have synergies you should pick up, you should go with them. If you end up seeing two goblins, picking up a totem face isn't the worst idea, but by himself he's obviously a terrible unit. If you see any of the three cyborg engineers together, you're going to pick them up. They're great, especially in this current patch. First up we have the S tier. These are units you're going to buy every single time pretty much unless you see multiples of another unit the hog rider steel fist and nightingale are all great units by themselves but they build into extremely strong meta compositions in the late game hog rider is actually could be in in a tier of his own like the the triple s tier possibly because he has three amazing synergies and he still has a good ultimate um, he's a rider, he's a hunter, and he's a goblin. Any of those builds are successful. The hog rider can play as a tank in the front line, or he can play as a little bit of a DPS in the back. And finally, he's also an incredible asset if the enemy is playing assassins, which have recently gotten buffed. Next up, we have Steel Fist. He has gotten an insane buff, um, in the most recent patch. And cyborgs, ha, cyborg engineers have as well. So you're going to be looking to pick him up. Nightingale is a strong unit by herself. She can, she can, um, if you're able to scale her to the late game. Her ability to take mana from an alt will, can shut down, you know, very powerful alt units like Kraken, Shiraka Ka, or General War late games. She's also the key p component of the Punisher comp, which is extremely um, strong but requires her as like a keystone piece like I said we're gonna try and keep this quick so the rest of the units I'm just going to briefly go over just why they're in the tier they are and describing the tier itself a tier units you're going to pick up if you don't have any the S tier units Banger and Tusk are in the A tier at the moment because they're warriors and warriors are particularly strong Famine is an undead which is one of the best early game buffs and undead buff even scales into the late game as well supersonic and bionic ninja are overall not amazing units to be honest but with the steel fist buff and the engineer buff they actually rose because of hit because of their synergies with him and then also bionic ninja is also an assassin now so they had, they had a, a pretty pretty significant buff um, to make them relevant. I don't think assassins are too strong, but we'll get into that in our meta shift tier list, which hopefully will re release in the next day or two. Um, next we have the B tier. These units aren't particularly good. But you'll pick them up anyways because that's just what you got. Um, the Witch Doctor as a unit itself to place on the board should be an F tier. It's just that there's a way to manipulate the, your mana crystals with Witch Doctor, which I still haven't got, made the video on, but I, I should get to that by the end of the week. Frost Lotus is moderately strong. It's just the AoE has has a little too much of an RNG factor, um, but she is human, so she's certainly not a bad pickup. The only unit you don't really ever want to pick is Totem Face. Like we mentioned, if you do have a hog rider or something, giving yourself the goblin buff isn't bad. But just to sum it up, this is your one cost tier list, but it's mostly just for round one. In the future, we will be getting a two cost tier list, which will finalize our um, our early game strategy guide. Look for um, uh, new videos coming out this week, like our, our weekly meta shift tier list and a positioning guide on how to position your heroes in various comps. If you guys liked the video, I really hope you guys can hit the like and subscribe button below here. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying putting out this chest rest um, content, but all your support really um, helps to make all this happen.